3D Printing Thursday. Today I'd like to talk to you about a couple of designs that I have done for a local university. Well, although this part is 3D printed, this is more of a design project than anything else. 3D printing is a very small portion of it. What we have here is some I iterations of a, uh, I keep wanting to call them Microsoft, micro scope slide holders. I don't know if you can even see that on camera, but if you know what a microscope slide is, that's exactly what it is. This little thing, and it goes into this little thing. It's a holder, just like it says. And the reason why we need to have this particular holder is that the things that they're looking at through the microscope, not Microsoft, <laughs> they, they have a lot of cells like wood, just like on this table here. And they have to measure these cells and they're going across these, these layers. And if it's not perfectly aligned with the actual slide itself, then as they measure, they're actually having to measure on triangles. So they'll go over and then up and then over and then up and over and up. And you can imagine you essentially have to use trig to figure out what you're measuring because everything is going to be on that, uh, what is it, the hypotenuse or something like that. Put your comments down below if I'm wrong or maybe I'm actually right on that. At any rate, this little thing, as you can see, it rotates. So we've got the holder portion. It, it bolts into the microscope up here like that. And then the entire platter of the microscope actually moves. So you throw your microscope slide in there and you adjust it to where the cells are in line with the microscope, essentially. And then you can move it and it's going to make everything faster is what they said. So they hired me as a contract designer and I'm going to provide some of these for them, print them up. And I mean, they've only got like four microscopes in this particular one. So it's not gonna be a whole lot of printing, but it is eh, it's a decent amount of designing. I had to make this from scratch. They already had one that didn't fit and they didn't have all the 3D printing parts to print it, nor did they have printers. So by the time it was all said and done, it was quicker for me to just design a whole new one from scratch, honestly. And I think mine's actually a lot better. We've got a little bit of grip ring on this outside portion here, a champ for these edges so that the actual microscope lenses or the things wouldn't hit it because there's one that almost touches the glass. And even so, as long as you're in the center, at least when you go to switch, it doesn't hit this holder here. It clears in all directions. And then we've got these two little places right here so that you can get your fingers or a set of tweezers or something in here to get the, the slides in and out. And then of course, working with all the tolerances, that's been the most difficult part is just to get our tolerances in so that there's no wiggle left and right. No, because uh, otherwise if you are moving it, you're gonna have tolerance problems because you move the actual platter, let's say a millimeter, and you're getting 0.9 millimeters out of it on your first move, but then you'll get a millimeter after that once you take up your slack, your backlash, I guess this was this would technically be backlash. So I've got one more iteration to do because our backlash on these two pieces is a little too much for me, but the slides fit real nice. They seem to fit real nice at least, and they're not moving around, so there we go. The first one didn't quite reach far enough. The second one, it reaches far enough, but I screwed up my tolerances by slicing it too high of a resolution or the, the, the STL. There's too many polys in it, and that messed up my. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Uh, I messed up the <laughs> dimensions on this one myself. I just didn't have everything smart dimensioned in SolidWorks, so it changed one of my dimensions. And then I changed it back, and my poly count was way too high, so it was you know, one more thing, one more thing. So I moved my poly count back down to where it was on the exterior portion and our ex interior portion as evidence when I mix and match, the tolerance is perfect. Absolutely perfect. No wiggle, but still spins. That's what we want, but this is wrong. So there we go. Ooh, I wonder about this one with this one. Nope, 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 still wiggly. Yeah, just one more, just one more, I promise. Just one more and we'll be right there. So there we go. This is a fun little project. I like designing things at this point. I suppose that's what I am. I'm a designer. I'm starting to do a lot more contract work, which I don't like working for other people, but stuff like this, especially when it's helping out 
cool people at a cool university. I, I'll make exceptions, I suppose. I, I really enjoy making weird, one-off, fun things that help everybody out. Oh, sounds like I forgot to turn off a radio over there, so that signifies that it's time to sign off. So if you got any questions about this, or maybe you got a university that could use some weird things designed, put your comments down below. As always, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. You've made it to the end of the video. Hopefully that means you liked what you saw. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, and definitely comment down below. We would like to hear new ideas from you, so be sure you let us know what you'd like to see. There are some other suggestions probably floating by my head right now that you can check out. And otherwise, we appreciate your support and your help growing the channel.